Teen dating violence is happening right here in East Tennessee. According to the CDC, nearly one in three teenagers has experienced some form of dating violence and nearly one in every eight high school girls has experienced sexual dating violence. At just 16 years old, Knoxville native Emily Ann Buck experienced both. 10 News reporter Caitlin Keenahan spoke with her about how we can end it. At 16 years old, love feels real. He was perfect. <laughs> he was charming and handsome. For Emily Ann Buck, it happened fast. So quickly that he said he loved me um, within the first two weeks. She didn't see the red flags of an abusive relationship. It's so subtle as it grows that you don't see what's happening. Until she was living them. I saw the tracking, um, the calling on the phone, and constantly wanting to know where I was and who I was with. Then the abuse turned sexual. For me, it was physical photos that were passed around. This all happened while they were in high school. I, I was suicidal twice. <laughs> um, and sometimes I share that and sometimes I don't. This isn't an isolated case. One in five girls are emotionally abused in a dating relationship in high school, and a quarter of them will send a nude photo before they turn 18. I hurt for these teenage girls that think that somebody cares so much for them that they want to see their naked body. And that is twisted. But to end it, Dr. David Kitts with the Knoxville Police Department says you have to be able to identify it. If you're in an abusive situation and when the person is extremely jealous, when they're controlling, and they want to isolate you from family and friends. Educate. Every opportunity we can, we've got to portray what a healthy relationship looks like. And listen. Do not talk. Accept what they're telling you. Do not judge them. Listen to them and ask how you can help. In Knoxville, I'm Caitlin Keenahan. Teens who experience dating violence are more likely to suffer from trauma, depression, and anxiety later in life. The CDC also says it increases their risk for domestic abuse in the future.